Hi friends, welcome to KPB Coding Hub. As a part of these Python interview questions videos, today we are going to talk about 35th question. What is this question is, explain, explain about identity, explain about identity operators in Python. Which are identity operators? The name itself is giving very clear idea, right? Identity operator means what identity, whether two objects are pointing to the same address or not. That means a single memory location having two references or more references or not, we can check by using this identity operators. Which are identity operators? Ease is there. What is the purpose of ease? It will return true if two references, two references are pointing two references are so pointing to same object same object else it is going to return false similarly we have is not is there what is mean by is not opposite for this it will return true if two references if two references are not pointing if two references are not pointing to the same object it is going to return true otherwise it is going to return false like that we have sir let us take one simple example then only you can understand clearly see i have a is equal to 10 is there whenever you are writing this statement internally what python is going to do is it will create one memory location okay with the content 10 the name of the reference is nothing but what a a is pointing to this location sir now i am taking b is equal to 20 then what will happen we are going to get another memory location with the content b so with the content 20 the reference name for this is nothing but what b like this we have now since you created two objects we got two objects with the references Sir, my next question is, if you print A, comma B, what output we are going to get 10 followed by 20? If you want, you can see it is going to print 10 followed by 20. It will print always content. Sir, now my requirement is A is B, like this I am asking. Means what? A and B are pointing to the same memory location. Is A and B are pointing to the same memory location? No, right? then immediately what output we are going to get false because the statement itself is what false like that we have now sir i am going to create another variable like c is equal to or let me write opposite also a is not b so what is the statement here a and b are not pointing to the same memory location yes the statement is true if you want, you can run the output. What we are going to get is false and then true. Like this, is and is not is going to work. Sir, when is is going to return true? Very simple. I am taking another object with content 10. See, in Python, memory management is very efficient. Whenever Python encountered this statement, immediately what will happen? It won't create another memory with the content 10 because already this memory is there, right? That's why what will happen? The existing memory location will be reused for this. It won't create any reference. It won't create any new memory location. The existing memory location will be reused. Sir, can I say now A and C are pointing to the same memory location or not? Yes. If you want, you can check. I am printing, so A is C. Is A and C are pointing to the same memory location? Yes, your output is true. Now I am printing A is not C. Is A and C are not pointing to the same memory location? No, sir. It is pointing to the same. That's why we are going to get false. If you want, you can see. So this is nothing but is and is not operators which are used to check whether two objects are pointing to the same memory location or not so technically it is called as what identity operators we are checking for the identity that's all so python memory management is very efficient whenever you are creating 
multiple objects with the same content blindly it won't create new objects every time it will check in the internal memory is there any reference with the same content if it is there it will reuse that if it is not there what will happen it is going to create please remember this point based on this only the total story is going to run in the background okay so i hope you understood this terminology okay thank you friends